This is Gadget Stop 321. In today's video, I'm taking a look at the Lamy Studio, the Palladium Edition. Now, this is not a palladium plated pen, but it's just a description of the color of the pen. It's kind of a satiny champagne color. It's really smooth. It feels really nice. And this edition came with a gold nib. The most Lamy Studios come with a steel nib, but occasionally they'll come out with a special edition that has a gold nib. So this is comparable in price to the Lamy 2000. And I would say those are both similar pens, but suited for different purposes. I think they're both, the Studio and the Lamy 2000 are about the same size. I know they're roughly the same shape. They taper on both ends and are flat. They both have very different clips though. They're both snap caps. Uh, they have very different nibs. The Lamy 2000, I think they call that a semi-hooded nib. It's a gold nib, but you just don't really get to see it and appreciate it. That's one thing I liked about the Lamy Studio, that it's got this really pretty two-tone 14 karat gold nib. That's just really nice looking. Now, one thing a lot of people complain about on the Lamy Studio is the section, how it slopes down and it's metal, so it tends to be slippery. And this satiny metal is pretty slippery, but unless you hold your pen really down close to the end of the section by the nib, it's not really an issue. This is uncomfortable. I can feel it sloping toward the nib and it wants to push my fingers toward the nib. But if you hold it back here where the slope is less, you can't really even feel the slope. And I, it doesn't really feel that bad. It's not really slippery. I, I, I feel like I've got a secure hold on it. So it's comfortable to hold. It's comfortable to use unposted. And posted, one of the things I like about this pen is... There's a little on the back, there's just a little ridge, and there's a cl clip inside the cap that it snaps to post, and I really like that. I like a secure posting pen. I prefer to post it. It's a little bit long, but the weight is just centered right here in the crook of your hand, and it feels good. Now, um... One of the issues some people have is when posted, the cap will move around. Now, I I don't find it moving around as I'm writing. I can't even tell that it moves around. But if you wiggle it, it will wiggle. But just shaking it, it's not going to wiggle and rattle around. So, and it's... It's designed like that. It, they don't want it to fit tightly because it could scratch up the pen, metal on metal. So I think that was a, a thoughtful touch. This is a cartridge converter pen. It comes with a converter and a cartridge. I just put a tiny little bit of ink in there. This is, this is metal here, but it, the inside of it is plastic. And the threads in there are a black plastic. You probably can't see that. This pen has a, a decent amount of heft to it, but it's not, I wouldn't call it heavy. I don't think you're going to get tired after using it, especially since it's balanced so nicely. Um, let's see. Let me zoom in. I've already been writing with it a little bit. Sorry about that. I got this with an extra fine nib. I'd heard that gold nibs tended to write broader than steel nibs. So I went with the extra fine. I'm happy I did. This is this is my medium Lamy CP1 compared to the extra fine Lamy Studio. Let's see. For an extra fine, it's pretty smooth. I've had, 
I never have issues with hard starts or anything. It's not super wet. It's just, just a well-tuned nib. Writes nice and fine without being scratchy. I'm, I like this pen. I was thinking earlier, do I have more Lamy's? Is that... Do I have more Lamy's in my collection than any other pen? Turns out I have more uh, Pilots, but Lamy is a close runner-up. And it turns out they've got the two new, newer, they came out at the end of 2018, the limited edition Lamy Studios. There's a green one and an orange one, kind of a terracotta color. They're really nice looking. They have more of a texture to them. Um, my Lamy logo has just a slight texture to it. It's really nice. I like it. And those new pens appear to have that texture to it. Now I've seen some leaked pictures of the 2019 limited edition Lamy Studio. And I think there's a black one and a kind of a, uh, oh, what's, it's kind of, it looks similar to the color. What, what color did they call it? It's not really teal. It's kind of a, oh, uh, what is the color I'm looking for? Anyway, it's kind of the color of this, the ink I'm using, um, Compecky, not teal. Yeah, I can't, the, the name escapes me. But it's a really pretty color. It's really popular now. So, um, Lamy Studios are coming out with in new colors each year. So, if you don't like the colors that are available now, just wait and give it time. And they may come out with one that is more suited to you. Now, with the gold nibs, a gold nib Lamy Studio runs like around 160, between 160 and 170 dollars. The, the studios with steel nibs, I think, run about 70 to 80 dollars. So that's something to consider also. And just like with other Lamy's, you can switch out the nibs very easily if you get one with a nib size that you're not fond of, it's very easy to get a replacement nib. Now, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.